going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to maypole farms episode two where we will be continuing our uh our shenanigans if you will uh so where we left off last time i had done a bunch of silage bales um out behind the sheep pen um, they are sitting in the field. I gotta collect them, and then I, of course, I have the huge amount of bales. Excuse me. Uh, the huge amount of bales, uh, straw bales, out in the what was the wheat field that we harvested last time. So, um, basically, I'm I'm torn. I need a I need to either use the little trailer thing that I have, which it's not horrible, um, and manually load everything, or get some form of auto loader. So real quick, just because some new mods have come out and I can't for life me remember all of them, I'm going to look at a really quick bail trailer, our bail trailers, see what's available. See, I wish they had the the smaller, like the I think it was the Ursus T one twenty seven or something, um, that was like a smaller version of of that, and it held I forget the base game one I think held like eight, and then the the modded version held twelve I think it was, um, and I really wish they had that. Um, I mean, granted, I can. <sighs> See, my only issue is I don't, I don't typically like teleporty auto bail, auto loading bail trailers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going on, Jared? How you doing, buddy? I'm debating on a bail trailer. Basically, as it stands right now, I have this thing, which I absolutely love. It's a fantastic little trailer. Um, holds a handful of bales, but I have a huge field of straw bales out there that I need to pick up, and I'm just debating if I want to do it. Mm. Well, I think for now, I'll start manually. I'll get the silage bales out. We'll do them manually and go from there. I kind of feel like I should try... Uh, where did I put the spike? I don't even remember. I kind of want to try out like... the. <sighs> well, no, it's the issue is not buying one, Jared. It's the fact that I, I don't like the teleport auto loads. You know, I like the ones that actually show an animation. And granted, we have the... This one, right? But this thing's huge. I mean, it's doable, but it's big. Um, and then everything else is like teleport autoload. Because nobody's come out with that... Um, what do you call it? The um, Like the Ursus. The, the smaller version of this, you know? Hey, what's going on, Farm and Steve? I'm just debating. I'm sitting here... Kicking myself. Um, yeah, let's screw it. We're gonna, for the moment, we're gonna do them manual on that little guy. If I can find where in the world I put my bale spike, because I can't seem to find it. And it's kind of essential. Ah, where did I put it? Uh, maybe I left it over with the bales? Where the hell did it go? I still own it, right? Uh, yeah, okay, I still have it. I just don't know where the hell I left it. <laughs> the search for tools. Well, either way, I need this tractor. Okay, that's not attached. OK. 
Okay. And one thing I didn't even notice, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, um, was the uh, the fact that the front loader actually looks like a front loader on the little symbol up top. Holy crap, I didn't realize everybody was like jumping in so quick. Alright, give me two seconds. Uh, hey Bruce, welcome back, buddy. Well, 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 look at the dap. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Bruce and dap and Stee and Jared. There ain't no party like an S-Club party. <laughs> What's going on, Shaman? How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Welcome all to... <clears throat> the shit show. <clears throat> Alright, so basically... The plan right now is... I have to actually find out where the hell I left my... Uh, my... Veil grab. I'm actually slightly tempted to see if I can get um, I gotta remember there's a camera on me too <laughs> um, so my uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sure where <laughs> I'm not sure where I left my uh, my bail spike, honestly. Um, I guess I could, you know, why don't I just look at the map and see where I left it? That would make sense. Bail spike. Okay. The other thing I was thinking, because they're silage bales, I might try the actual. Um, S Club <laughs> for the Star S Club. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's what I. It's right down here. Oh no, you can't actually tag it, but I know where this is. So, all right, let's go grab it. I'll tell you what, I actually really like this fridge of track. I didn't really use it much. Yeah, there it is. It's on the other side, that's why I didn't see it. Um, I didn't use it much in 19 when they came out with the Alpine DLC. I liked the little electric, I think everybody did, but this actually is a really good tractor with the quad steer and the fact 150 horse and you get the front and rear three points and a front loader. This thing is actually really, really quality, we shall say. All right, so right now we are off to go load up some uh, some bales from the field behind the sheep pen. Um, I think what I'll do too is I may actually get some sheep in as we go by because I'd like to get some animals started in here. Um, and I've already got some hay so I can feed them pretty much directly. And my bales are all over the place. So let's. Uh... Oh, side note too. I totally got a, a new. Uh, some of you may know about it. The mod. Uh, if you're on PC, the uh, select. Uh, what the hell was it? Select damage mod or something like that. So basically, whatever implement you're on, shows you what the. Uh, the wear is on it. Now granted, everything I've got right now is fairly new, so you don't see it much, but it's actually quite cool. Alright, let's go grab our other tractor in the trailer. 
Take a slice of back and relax and open up a can of corn. <laughs> oh, and the corn has started. You gotta remember, Shaman, it's sweet corn. Um, yeah, let's use this little guy. He doesn't get enough love. He's just a baby. Oh. Just a baby tractor. It's like a smart car tractor, you know that? Um, and maybe you can tag stuff, Shaman? I checked, I couldn't... It doesn't matter, I found it, obviously, but... It didn't give me an option to, like, tag it from the, uh, the menu, so... Oh. Alright. Alright, let's take our little baby tractor and go grab some bales. And I figured I'd give you guys some outside views instead of just all inside, because, you know, it's nice to see bits of the game and the tractors and stuff versus just interior views of everything, so I will probably do some first-person stuff, but God, I, I just love that thing. I don't know why. It just looks good. All right. I say we'll set this. Eh, this looks good. And we'll shut you off, and then we'll go pick up some bales. Cricket can't find things, Shaman. <laughs> yes, it's a baby. It's just a baby tractor. It, it hopes to one day grow up to be like that one. Um, you know, you got to give it credit, though. For only, I think it's only got 75 or 78 horsepower. It still has a front and rear three-point link. So. All right. I figured I'd go with the rigid tracks. I've got the largest one and the smallest one. I don't have the medium one. I can't for the life of me remember if the medium one can uh, have a front loader or not. But I will say, having the whole quad steer thing while you're uh, moving around loading bales and stuff is super handy. I definitely enjoy it. <laughs> but I was thinking, I know in 19 they were kind of rough, the, uh, what do you call them, the, the grabbers for, like, silage bales. I wonder if they're any better in this, because I know pallet forks are a little better, bale spikes work a little better, but I'm wondering how the, uh, how, um, <clears throat> if, like, the bale handlers, the, um, are better or if they're still really kind of glitchy and rough to use. Can't say I use it. I need to get in the habit of trying different tractors. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I had, you know how it is. In 19, we all had kind of our standard set. You know, you had your few small ones you really liked, your few mediums, and your few bigs. And that's pretty much what everybody, once you figured that out, that's what you used. So, in this one, I've been trying different things. I mean, my favorite tractor so far is that uh, older Valtra Valmet. That's, that's got to be my favorite tractor. And then, uh, and then other than that is that Bure, that open cab one from the Alpine DLC. But I found a modded version on third party website, which is what I have on this map. And it's, I mean, it's the same thing. The only difference is that you can have a front loader on it, which is awesome because it doesn't have a three point link. And unlike in 19, where you could put that front three point link adapter that attached to 
trailer hitches from Pepe 978, you could put that on that tractor in 19, but you can't in this one. It doesn't work. So, so the fact that it at least has a front loader makes it more useful. See, and this is why the quad steer is awesome. So you can fine tune everything. Hold on one sec, sorry, I'm missing stuff. I know I am. I gotta, my phone's charging, that's why it's a little further away than normal. Hey David, what's going on buddy, how you doing? Tosh, oh my god, you're in here bud, how you doing? It's good to see you. All my favorite people in one area. God, so how you guys doing, how's everyone doing? I'm glad you guys could make it. It's it's awesome. I'm, it's nice to see everybody. And we're going to speed up time slightly because I had it super, super slow. I always forget that. I turn time way down because I'm like setting things up or moving stuff around. And then when I go back in, I forget that I slowed down time. So I'm like sitting there at like half speed. And then I'm wondering why the day doesn't go by through like the entirety of the stream. But yeah, and then uh, we were talking tractors and stuff, and, and I tried this tractor out, and I just, I don't know why, like, I, my one of my favorite tractors from 17, which the first game I tried was um, the Lindner Lintrack 90, and then when they came out, like, honestly, a lot of my favorite tractors came from the Alpine DLC. Uh, like I said, the Bure, the Open Cab Bure, the Lindner Lintrack 130, because it's a 130 horsepower. But it's still got the quad steer, front loader, three points, all that stuff. So, I just, I like a tractor that can do multiple things, you know? But this guy is no slouch. 150 horse, quad steer, front three point, rear three point, front loader. I mean, it does pretty much everything you want as long as you don't need, you know, a 300, 400 horsepower tractor for pulling plows and shit. It does pretty much everything. Um, <laughs> Listen, you were working on the farm, of course, Jared. I hope it's going well. You guys should, uh, if you haven't checked it out, go look at Jared's stuff. I don't know. Have you posted that yet, buddy? Um, but he's doing some videos on, like, building this farm. It's insane. He does such a good job, like, just the detail and, and how he builds his stuff. It's awesome. You should definitely go check it out. If somebody has a link for, actually, Jared, you're a moderator, you can drop your own link. Um, drop your link in the chat in case people have not gone. Not bad, still playing on the Michigan map. Cool, cool. What, what? Just got finished eating spaghetti. Oh, I love spaghetti. I love anything pasta. Pasta is my, my weakness. Joe, how does it go? Goes downward and upward. Norman Stee. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so people, go check that link out, man. Seriously, you want to see some awesome, like, No Man's Land build stuff? He, This map, it, it might as well be its own, like, map in the fucking mod hub when he's done. Like, some of this shit I've seen him put into this thing, it's ridiculous. And he's not even done yet. So I'll try not to move bales the whole stream. Maybe I'll get an auto loader. I don't know. But it's got to be done, and at least you're not watching me plow the same field for two days. <laughs> like on the last one. Thanks for the love, brother. Of course, man. Dude, seriously. Like all you guys. You guys are all awesome. Anytime, and, and this goes for all of you in here, dude. Anytime you have, you know, you want to 
mention, you know, or you want to shout out or you want to drop your links, go by all means, go ahead. Or any of my moderators, if you have the links to any of these guys and you want to drop it in, um, by all means, go ahead and do it. Um, so no worries here. We are all a community and we all got to work together to help each other out. So all is good here. Except that shaman man, he's a shady bastard. Don't 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 look at his stuff. He's he's got that puppet who insults people. It's really mean, really nasty stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can I stack? Probably not. Um, playing a lot of online drift. Yeah, dude. That's cool. Can't eat pasta, don't like the texture of it, and other foods like tomatoes don't like the feel of it while eating. It's full food fear. Dude, I understand, Steve. I've got... I wouldn't call it food fear, um, but there's some foods you just you don't like the textures of. Like, for instance, I love grape juice, like legit real grape juice, right? I hate grapes. And it's not the flavor, it's the texture. I don't like the whole, like, yes, I'm eating a ball with skin on it or something. It's just terrifying. Don't like it. Uh, 12 now, Joe. Yeah, dude. Everybody, go check out Joe, too. He's doing Seven Days to Die and maybe some other stuff. Um... Granted, I know most of you are farm simmers, but uh, I'm sure it'll be entertaining, so definitely check it out. I actually have to go do that myself. I believe I'm subbed, but I'm not positive, so I gotta do that so I can check him out, too. Uh, now can I do this without dropping everything? See, like I said, quad steer. You can really fine-tune your, your stacking talents. Look at that. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Sadly to say, you changed the whole front end of the map. What? <laughs> Kintosh. Yeah, dude. Alright, hold on. Stee. You're a moderator too now, Stee. Can't eat grapes too? Yeah, dude, no. I can't. I can't do grapes. Day four has been posted. All right, so Joe has posted episode four, or day four of Seven Days to Die. And you only listen to the demon now, Cricket. <laughs> oh, man. So what you're saying, shaming... That you only listen to me. <laughs> All right, we'll put him away for now. It's the Blue Smurfs fan, yeah, dude. Of course, Steve. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me. Oh, shoot. Hold on one sec. Attention, Tosh. Attention, Tosh. <laughs> Shit biscuits. Those are my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I uh so for all of you that haven't figured it out, I got a I found a voice mod software that I have on my thing. I did it mainly <laughs> Poor Tosh. 
I, uh, I got it mainly just to mess around because I thought it was funny. And, uh, I forget, there was some. Um, but it's got the the one thing I like about it. I'm actually running it right now. There's a it's got a clean uh, voice mod, so it's like it clears up the voice and and kind of cuts out some of the background noise, not all of it, obviously, but it makes it a little clearer for um, for stuff. So. <laughs> ah, all right, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Could I have your attention, please? Could I have your attention, please? Tosh, if you could come to the principal's office, we have your trash can sandwich here for you. I repeat, please come to the principal's office, we have your trash can sandwich. Is that better? Uh, David, it is and it isn't. Um, <clears throat> basically, it, it is, uh, it's free at first. And it cycles through some of the um, the main adaptives or the the main voices. Like it gives you like ten you can choose from, and it cycles them out. I think every day or every few days. Um, and then you can pay, and you you can do like monthly subscription, or you can just pay like a one time fee, and you get access to everything. Yeah, does somebody want to post Joe's channel if you haven't already? Uh, Shaman, you said you just subbed to him, right? Can you link him in the thing, please? <clears throat> that time I'm freaking starving. <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, so, like I said, it's... I just, I got it for shits and giggles, and, and I, I forget, I was talking to Jared and Shaman, and I was dicking around with it, and... Yeah. So like I said, it's 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 amusing. I've got there's a bunch more. There's there's quite a few actually. Um but you go to um <clears throat> I'm pretty sure what is the site? Um I'm pretty sure it's voicemod.com. Like if you go to go, if you go to Google and just type in voicemod, that's that's what it is. Um because there's so many different like mods and, and software you can use, but problem is some only play with certain things. This works on Discord, and it works in OBS, and I think it works on Zoom, so Zoom calls and stuff. And uh, I believe there's something... It works on a few different bits of software, too, so that's really cool. Okay, so there's Joe's link. Go give him some love. The, the deep, dark, sweaty love. <clears throat> Sorry, did I say that out loud? All right. Wow, that, that actually worked out perfectly. There's like two stacks of all of them. That's fantastic. Look at that. Now let's see if I can get without knocking everything over. Yeah. All right. Mm, which one is it? This one? No, no, no. There we go. All right. Let's go take it to the house. Penis land, David. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shaman, what are you doing? What are you saying? Nobody minds shaming. He he sadly has a brain tumor. Such a tight farmyard. See, this is why this little guy is so handy. It's just like, oh yeah, I'll just squeak around here. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Now we'll go stack these. And I think what I'll do is I'll try and keep them separated. Uh, so the ones over there that are curing currently. I will uh, I'll keep them off to their own because those should be done by now. And these obviously just got wrapped last episode. So I will stick these in the next one over so I don't get them mixed up. Uh, eight? Yeah. <clears throat> I think I've finally mapped every function to the side panel or the steering wheel, so I don't actually have to use, with the exception of the uh, manual attach. So, it's good stuff. There will be Demolisher and Glowing Zombies as the game goes higher. Cool, cool. Sorry, I meant Pen Island. Yeah, you meant the Pen 15 Club is what you meant. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I do. I agree, David. I, I think Max has Max has been wearing him down over time, slowly but surely. It's a terrifying thing. Mm. <clears throat> and I got extended field info, so it's got all kinds of cool stuff. Plus, I don't know if it applies to... I can't for the life of me remember if uh, it adds to the silo thing too or not, but if I go near my silo, it tells me what's in it. And it might be the extended field info, I'm not sure. See? Bottom right hand, wheat 37,013 liters and canola 23,837. That's good shit. Only the demon do I answer to, I tell you. Is there a membership for the club? <laughs> uh. It's a special membership to the Pen 15 Club. We don't let just anybody in. Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Channels PG-13 not made for kids because there will be some bad words. Yeah, dude, I hear you. It's the same way here. Well, you guys know. I swear consistently. And um, just make sure when you're setting up your videos and stuff and your channel, there's there's options to that you can say it's not made for kids like ever, and then you won't accidentally get children traffic. So definitely look into your settings and see, you know. Make sure you select that stuff so you don't cause yourself more headaches. Oh, wrong way. Oh, the many voices in your head. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cool. Yeah, dude. I, like I said, it's literally... Uh, one, two, three. I've got... Currently, I've got, what, eight... I've got like 15 of them set that I like. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Mortal Kombat. Finish him. What you can do. Hello. 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 Anybody in there? Anybody in there? Anybody in there? I'm lost in a glass case of emotion. Come to the dark side. Or you can get me on both ends. Oh, I'm in both your ears. <clears throat> or I can get a really bad auto tune. Or I can just pretend I'm DJ Gohan. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love that game. Fatality.
the face the <laughs> fatality. <laughs> yeah. Specs testing shows the specs last song if you the Horde Nights. Cool, cool. I know. I I'm, I should be a singer. I don't know why I haven't yet. You guys would be like Backstreet Boys what? Maroon 5 what? Could be like an island boy. The worst singer on the planet. <clears throat> I should have parked this trailer in a better spot, but I didn't. So. Transformers love that. <laughs> yeah. Right? I always like to be controversial. No one likes boring. Am I right? Uh, now, here's the question. Can I pull this out from under this one without knocking it over? I can. Look at me go. I'm telling you what, man. Uh, quad steer for the win. I'd say my favorite three would be Linder Lindrack 130. This one for number two. And then if we're going up in horsepower... The JCB Fast Track 4220. Or any variation of that different year, but same like size and quad steer portion. Don't knock it over, don't knock it over. Alright. <laughs> get out of my dreams and into my van I, I don't really know if I want to get into your van I'm, I'm a little concerned that you know I mean I know you told me there was puppies and candy but I just I've already got a slew of puppies in my crawl space and uh, Lady Cricket just bought me a giant bag of sour gummy worms so I don't really need the candy so yeah I, I, I don't know I think I might have to pass on the van visit, but uh, maybe next time. <laughs> it's a nice van. <laughs> what kind of van is it, though? Are we talking like a E350 cargo van? Are we talking like a, you know, like a sprinter van that's been converted into like a living, you know, like one you live in? Or <clears throat> are we talking like, you know, the van from, uh... oh, what was that movie? I can't even remember it now. There's so many different types of vans. I'm not a fan of vans. As a mechanic, I hate the way they design them. <laughs> okay. And, nope. You can do it. You can do it. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at that. Now that is how you stack. Nope, wrong way. That way. Come on, you got the power. All right. You know, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little concerned because um, Shaman's been trying to get me into that van like forever. Um, um, <laughs> you've been stuck here for three months. Is that why you only come around when Shaming's around, Tosh? Jeez, what does he feed you? Is there a dirty mattress in the van? There is a super dirty mattress in the van. At least that's what Tosh was telling me. My three videos is when I had a necklace thing around my neck while recording. I had issue due to the cold game room. Now I have a device where I hold my phone with no problems or sharpness from the cold. Cool, cool. <clears throat> the van from the A-Team. Okay, well, the van from the A-Team is kind of cool. So... <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Look at this. I can stack bales like a pro. 
Now, granted, I'm technically spiking silage veils, which I don't think you're technically supposed to do in real life, but hey, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, though, fucking this, this whole quad steer, though, like, just the fact that you can, like, get shit exactly where you want it. And the stupid part, it, well, not the stupid part, but the, I've actually got a Kramer over there, which basically do the same thing. Because <laughs> that's quad steer, and it's a telehandler, well, technically a, yeah, it's like a, quad steer telehandler front loader thingy <laughs> guys one at a time in the van you know how slippery the floor gets i don't want to know why it's slippery i don't andrew marcy sup is the van down by the river and hey andrew marcy how you doing buddy Van down by the river. It, it might be down by a river. I don't know. Shaming tries to move it around. He doesn't leave it in the same place. You'll be recording day five here in a couple hours. Cool, cool. Andrew, that's for me to know and the cops to find out. <laughs> Stack attack. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. You guys are fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm a little... Mm, I think. Oh, look at that. I'm almost halfway out of fuel and I've only got 2.8 hours on this thing. I love the increased fuel mod. I'm... <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to try something. Because I want to. Uh, yeah, buddy. I'll go back to it if I need to. Da -da -da. Ooh, wrong button. I want to give this thing a try. I bought this is the uh, this it's like a the Kramer pack. There's like three of them. There's a gas one, a biodiesel, and this is an electric one. And the only reason I got the electric was because I have the electric charger and I have the little electric guy over there. So I figured, why not give it a shot? So, look at this. I'm saving the fucking the universe. Go me. A van in some back alley. It probably, it, it's, who knows? It could be anywhere. I hear he moves it a lot. Oh, there we go. All right, let's give this thing a try. And the one thing that's nice about this, obviously anyone who's played this game knows this because it was in 19, but you've got the telescoping, and I do have it set up to my wheels, so now I can telescope and lift and tilt and all that stuff all at once. It's fantastic. All right, let's see how she works. I'll see if I, I might even need a weight. Who knows? Oh, oh no. Nice. That's one thing I, I thought was really cool in uh, 19, um, because they came out with those weights that could go on the back of, of uh, telehandlers and stuff. You could put one on the back of this, uh, the lightweight my mantrid. You stick that on the back of this, you could lift a four stack of square bales with this thing. It was awesome. Right, I need a better view. Eh, takes some getting used to. I think I have to adjust my... There we go. Ah, oh, what did I do? I got stuck. I got stuck. <laughs> All right. The only thing that's a downside with this, I think, is it's slower than the gas version or the diesel version. But that's fine. There. Spike it. You know, the other nice thing about this, too, other than the telescoping portion, you can totally, uh, thinking about upgrading to a small truck. 
Uh, that's terrifying. It is terrifying. The only thing I don't like, and I don't know if this is the mod, but the brake, it doesn't seem to break very well. Like you hit the brakes and it kind of takes a second. I don't know if that's the mod or if it's because this one's like an electric version or what. All right. Almost done. Three more to go. Three more to go. But hey, I gotta give it credit, it's it's not having any issues lifting this, even with no weight on the back. So, that's pretty cool. That's handy. Not too bad stacking, though. So what kind of truck are you going to get, Shaman? I'm assuming you're going to get one with a cap, because how else are you going to keep them hidden from society? That actually almost makes it faster, the telescoping portion. That's cool. Done stacking those bales, guys. Cut it out. Bobbies. No fighting. You don't want you don't want to go down in the crawl space with everybody else. <clears throat> Thank you, Tosh. Thank you. I uh I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, it, it they're, the bales are a little less psychotic than they were in the last one. That's for sure. Freezer truck. Hey, at least I'll have more room for activities in the small truck. <laughs> it, freezer truck? Oh, man. That's going to be rough. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Fermenting. Oh, God. These aren't even fermented yet. Holy <coughs> Hey. No barkins. Guys. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, yes. I know. I love you. Yes. Hi. You want to say hi to the camera? No. Okay. <laughs> yep. Little puppies. All right. So those are 3% fermented. These are 34. So neither of them are technically done yet. Okay. Well, that's good. Shaman will put you in the van, doggies. <laughs> Nice stack of seals, thank you. Something interesting is out the window. I know. Puppies! Yeah, there's actually two of them there, Tosh. My dogs, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Ziva's staring there, and Dembe's next to her. Alright. 
so that's that part. So I'm actually, for the moment... Ah, oh, I didn't even realize that this little trailer had a steering axle. That's cool. Stick this here for now. Because why not? Ah, ah. Killing me, Smalls. Gotta lower it first. And disconnect it, which makes sense. All right. This is kind of like the electric station. Got my my Kramer and my little guy right here, and then the charging station. I put a little one over there. So, when need be. All right. Let's go take the big boy back and... <laughs> Your farm is so clean and tidy it makes me puke. <laughs> I can't help it. It's the OCD in me. And it's not always like that. Like, you should see some of my other shit. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do for the moment. You know what I should have done and I didn't do? I should have just, uh... <laughs> I should have just picked up the uh, straw with the, uh, the collecting wagon. Because basically... Is it that way? No this way so <clears throat> you'll have to forgive me I've been watching a lot of uh, the flash um, I'm trying to th figure out how many I've got a bunch of these um, Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. I have a lot. And I never just said no magical stuff in this one. This isn't a realistic one. <laughs> if someone breaks into your farm and pulls out your stuff on a roof. <laughs> right? That's the best. That is the best time. <clears throat> See, and here's the thing, like, I like doing this stuff manually myself, I have no issue with that, but at the same point, like, do you guys actually want to watch me stack another fucking 30 bales? Probably not. <sighs> Maybe I'll just lease a auto stacker or something for these. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm trying to think, I gotta figure out what other fields do I have. I've got... That's harvested. These are getting ready. So basically 88, 89. 89's something stupid. 89 is sugar beets. Ugh. Um, but the only reason I did it is because it has this nice entrance like right off like my house is here and then the field entrance is right here. So I'm like, it's a good place. Once I'm done with the sugar beets, I'll put something else in there. But I'm trying to remember. Basically, I've got... 
78, 80, um, and 78 and 80 are corn, no, oats. No. Okay, so 80s corn, 78, 83, and 92 are all soybeans. I have a lot of soybeans. And then 93 and 79 are wheat, but they're both harvested. Yes, okay. And then I've got another corn, yep, down here by the uh, the biogas plant. So I own a good chunk of this. I didn't buy 81, even though I like the placement. It's right off this road. Right, where am I? I'm over here. Yeah, so more sugar beets. Um, again, I like the placement. Like, I like where the field is. It's nice and open, but I don't want more sugar beets. So I may buy the field later down the road. Plus, I've only got 277 gram, which isn't isn't shabby, but, <clears throat> you know. I was literally just writing that. I, mean, I was just saying, hang on, there's no cars on the roofs. You see me rolling on the <laughs> Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to have, like, three fields worth of soybeans to do here in the next day or so. I'm just lost. Should I? Uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just... Let's see. Let's go... Actually, hold on. Uh, um... Like I said, I really, you know, the, the sad part is, is I could get the Ponji one or the Roland one. 28 bales. I could just lease an auto load of this just to speed up the. All right, we're going to do that. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to because why not? We've got a fancy curve side. Mm, no, nah, we're not going to waste money. All right, so we're going to lease this. Actually, this could come in handy. It's only 17 grand. This could come in handy for so many other things. But it's only $900 to lease. We're going to lease it because I don't care. All right. Oh, let's go get our trailer oh it's so dirty in here I need to wipe my boots next time tell you what though if you guys are running European maps this is a fantastic tractor Let's just hope I can get that trailer down here. Um. There we go. There. I don't even remember which side of the road I gotta be on. <laughs> oh, left side. All right, I guessed right. Look at me go. I'm getting in indoctrinated into European culture so quickly. It's almost like I was born this way. I can't for life remember where the store is. I think it's on the right. Guess we'll find out. Is that it? That looks like it. Alright. Oh, look at that. There's a fuel station over there. Uh, ah, oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> um, everyone knows seven days. That's what I'm doing. Just got first finish. Got a bicycle now. Go for trader too. Cool, man. 
think everyone will check it out. Dude, sorry guys, I'm just trying to catch up with chat. I'm, looks like he stepped in dog crap, I can see it on the carpet. That's not carpet, that's like rubber flooring. Look at he's split, glad to stop by, enjoy the rest of your stream, bye chat. See you later, Tosh, thanks for coming in, buddy. It's good seeing you. Later, Tosh, Mosh, Dosh, Kosh. Osh, Kosh, Bagosh. See you, Tosh, later, Shaman, Jared. No banging on the van wall tonight, Tosh. Oh, come on. That wasn't a rule originally. You can't just arbitrarily make things whenever you want. I mean, it's not the way this goes. He's entitled as your hostage to certain rights and permissions. <clears throat> Ooh. You know, some of the sounds you don't come across till you hit certain things like bumps or get rained on the roof of the of the vehicles that it's really cool when you actually come across some of the uh, I think this is my turn yeah I forgot I have the uh, the shop mod like the shop delivery mod so the trailer that I just leased I literally just drove past it probably because I'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh man, it's good shit. It's good shit. All right. Well, now that I wasted that whole trip for nothing, that's another thing I gotta look into getting is a uh, tanker for diesel, so I can fill up this diesel pump right there, so I can gas up my vehicles when they get low, because this thing's almost at half. Hey, look at that. It's a magical delivery point. You know what I need to do? I need to put that button on the steering wheel so I don't have to... so I don't have to... Uh, touch the keyboard when I'm trying to set that up. Come on. Oh. It doesn't like the quad steer because it can't turn that tight. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go get these stupid... Uh, what do you call it? What's next? Sitting on a gear stick? We need rules of cricket. Like, Let's try a line here. No. No. Rules are for... I don't even know. But rules are not what we do here. Everything is free form, open source. Freedom is the key. Freedom of speech, freedom of insertion, freedom of whatever. You name it. It's all good here. Waiting for sunrise on seven days to die. Start recording soon for day five. Two videos for today. We'll go back and work Monday night. Cool, cool, buddy. Pharmacy has your mate. Still got that bathtub for sale. <laughs> is it full of ice the bathtub it sounds terrifying all right now the only thing I can't for the life of me remember is if I can even do this from inside uh, let's see uh, nine eight no. Oil steer. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Ah, oh, it's all on my side panel. What's wrong, babe? Yeah, you're not supposed to inhale York patties. That's that's not how that works. Oh, babe. What a what, what? Farm sim. Yes, I am farming and streaming. <laughs> Nothing like watching the golf channel. Oh, come on. Lady Crickets make it fun of me. She doesn't appreciate the hard work that goes into, uh. <laughs> From his. 
Yeah, see the one right off the car's battery? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Lady Cricket is not impressed with Farming Simulator. She's mad because nobody dies in it. Oh my god, I didn't realize the thing was as long as it is. Holy shit. I'm also surprised that it stacks them this way as opposed to the old way. I I know. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your input. <laughs> They're asking where SpongeBob's house is. Because of your pineapple shower cap. <laughs> Shaming says, What's up? She says hi, shaming. She wants to know how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground. Why in the world did you make me just say that? <laughs> so darn it. All right. But yeah, I'm surprised it stacks them this way instead of the other way. Speaking of which, let's... Uh, I'm gonna try something. I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, is it this way? Or is it this way? Oh god. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Hold on, sorry. I think I've got multiples for the same thing. Um, nine. What is straps? That's the next thing I need to do. I need to take out the time. And so I've got more buttons. Eight. Okay. Oh, that's not cool. I forgot about that. Someone told me about that, that the auto loads don't have straps. Right? Because they're auto load. Well, if you drop the... Okay. Well, we're not doing that. <clears throat> Which one is it? Oh man, that's so bad. <laughs> I wonder if I can even get this. Uh... Depends on how long the groundhog holds. <laughs> what a wood chuck chucking wood, right? I wonder how many rocks you need before you're officially a rock collector. Going on a trip with my favorite rocket ship. <laughs> What's going on, CBW? How you doing, buddy? All right, nine. It's not gonna work. Fuck. See, and this is why I don't use auto load trailers. Uh, 
this is gonna be so bad. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh yeah. Now here's the problem. I gotta try and figure out how I'm gonna unload these because I don't know if this is going to work. Why are you doing that with the... It's like I get close to it and it like zooms up to the tractor. I don't like that. That's, an, that's irritating. Stop it. All right, we're gonna do this just because that's really irritating. What's going on? Can I ask Lady Cricket about the rocks? Why? <laughs> Why does chicken have issues with the cow? I don't know. Why does chicken have issues with the cow? Um, yeah, we'll put it over here because this is one of this is the main cow pen. Well, there's two main cow pens, but we're gonna stick these over here because I feel like this would be a good place as any. Actually, we're going to. Um, <clears throat> go, little guy, go. Okay. Here's a question for all of you. <clears throat> Is a uh, <clears throat> do dogs howl at the moon because the moon is just a ball that they can't reach? And if there's no oxygen in space, why is the sun still burning? Oh man, this is going to be bad. I'm gonna have to try and, you know, uh, I feel like the best way to do this is not gonna be how I would normally do this. <sighs> I do not, do not, do not like this. Auto, like, I love the roll and pack, don't get me wrong, but I do not like auto load trailers like this. They're a pain in the ass. Especially when I don't have a button mapped for everything properly, I don't think. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I don't know if this is going to work because I've got all kinds of shit around here. Alright, we're going to be operating position. There we go. And um, now unload bales. Um, how do I move? Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. There we go. Unload bales here. Bam. Okay, that worked. Okay, we're good. We're good. Look at that. That is actually kind of handy. I will say, <clears throat> what wins a drunk parrot or a drunk or a druged goat? What is a druged goat? I don't even want to know. It sounds terrifying. We're gonna go get these last two. And then we'll return this trailer because I don't have any other fields that are gonna produce straw. So, we will just get rid of it for now. Hi, sweetheart. You laying down? You gonna come hang out with Dada? All right. <clears throat> Every time it sees the cow laying on the ground, it was blocked their food. All right, Joe. 
You do what you gotta do, buddy. Oh, animal Wars again, Shaman. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. A Druid... Is he saying Druid Goat or a Drunk Goat? I don't know what a Druid Goat is, so I can't accurately say. You should change your bale shape so your animals can get a square meal a day. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> that was so bad. That hurt my brain, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> um, what is it? Nine operating position. Right? Uh. There we go. Yeah, I gotta use the keyboard. I can't. I don't have a. There's like too many button inputs for this for the side panel, so. Sadly, I'm using the keyboard, but that's okay. All is well in keyboard land. You should change. Uh, yeah. 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 Away with ye. And just because I love you all, CBW, you're also now a moderator. I'm just going to have like a world of moderators. <clears throat> I'm going to have to update my list on my, uh... <laughs> I don't know why you're surprised, buddy. You've helped me out a, a dozen times, and... You know? You're always there... Shouting me out and stuff, so... I appreciate you and what you do. I appreciate all of you, actually. Except for shaming, you know. Nope. Nobody appreciates shaming. He's just... He's just intolerable, but we put up with him because, you know, why not? Alright, what in the world? Let's, uh... What is it? B? Operating position. Unload bales. Let's unload some bales. We're gonna stack these... Over here. Like, oh, this is not good. Ah, that worked out. Not well, but it worked out. Okay. Let's get rid of this godforsaken trailer. Thank you, Roland Trailer. I do actually like the Roland Trailers. They're fantastic. Alright. Uh, P. Oh, you know what? That's so stupid. Um, return. Use the vehicle sale. Look at this. I could have gotten this to load bales. <laughs> Would be better when it's blue. <laughs> world be world better when it's blue, yeah. Right. No problem, bud. He's doing a fanboy on you, CBW. That's, uh, you know what it is, shaming. I'm just, I'm really trying to butter CBW up so he'll let uh, Farm Dog Jim come over for a play date. That's what it is. <laughs> oh look at that <clears throat> oh Jesus look at this the printeth it's only 101 grand look at that nice for silage and shit I definitely want to use one of these at some point but I'm not even making silage right now maybe I should just so I can have an excuse to buy this thing 48 percent off so it's like half that is cool I don't think I'll be getting it but it's good to know it's there <clears throat> all right so I think next step I'm going to get Let's see where the where is the animal dealer on this place? I don't even remember. These are all farms, right? 
Yep. Farms, farms, farms. Where is the animal dealer? Livestock market, right? We're going to check here real quick. What in the world? Oh. Okay. So this is where I get my livestock. And that is down here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? You think I should just buy some animals and stick them in the pen? Or do you think I should transport them? What would you guys rather see me do? <clears throat> Let's actually take a quick look and see what we've got for animal transport. Because we're doing sheep first. Sheep first, and then we'll get other things. But we're going to start with sheep. Speaking of which, i got to find out how many that holds. Oh yeah, and I think they modded these, like, if I remember correctly, uh, Cavalier Roy, who, who made this map. Yeah, 500. <laughs> so they made it, like, old school, right? So, 500 sheep. So a lot more than normal. Rock, paper, scissors, guys? <laughs> you mean pen like a jail? <laughs> Ah, uh, you guys are ridiculous. Fantastic, but ridiculous. Eight months, puberty, eight months. Okay, so I can get babies or I can get adults. <clears throat> hmm. Produce wool, produce wool, produce wool. Okay, so they all say the same. They don't... I. I do you guys, any of you guys know if these actually make a difference? I don't think it does with these. I mean, I know with, like, cows, they do have some that are, like, meat cows versus milk cows, but I believe these all make the same amount of wool. I could be wrong, so if you guys know, let me know. <laughs> Detective Van Guy 49. <laughs> If you're Detective Van Guy 49, that would make me uh, <clears throat> Dog Friend 86. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so does anybody know? Not that I know, so sheep slow all around. Okay. Y'all have must, must get up super early. That's cool, Jared. I hope you have a great night, buddy. And good luck on your, uh, on your map. I'm sure I will talk to you sometime in the near future. <clears throat> <laughs> he cheated and used glue. What's up? Wait, what? Is it a show? No, I, w I would actually like to see that. Alright. <laughs> Dog Walker 86. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Good night, Jared. You have a wonderful night, Jared. All right, so we're going to buy some sheep because I want some sheep. We're going to go with these. And oh, what? I'm going to check something. 60. Or maybe you can only do 60 at a time. Or the, oh, the farm says 500, so maybe that's all I can have in the farm. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm half tempted to buy 60 and then see if I can buy another 60. You know, I don't need 60 yet. I don't think I have a, enough stuff for that. So we'll, we'll go with, 
We'll start off with 30 because if for some reason this pen is maxed at 60 and the reason there's 500 is because there's so many pens around the yard, around the map that all add up to that. <laughs> Chair bear. <laughs> oh man. All right. Bam. 30 of 500. Now, real quick, I want to see if I go. Yeah, okay. So it's 500 for this pen. You can just only buy them in 60 increments, probably because typically I think the max of the biggest pen is 60. So these guys are all doing their thing. I think what I'll go do now is I'm actually going to go back and get the front loader and I'm going to go grab a couple bales of hay and throw in there. Yeah, I'll use this one. I was going to use... I was going to use the uh, Bure, but it doesn't... It's a little tippy. <clears throat> so we've got sheep. That is the... Uh, that is the main success. We've got an entire stash of straw, which would be great for the cows. I don't think there's any pigs on this farm, if I remember correctly. There is only... Um, there's only two cow pens, a sheep pasture, or sheep pen, and then uh, horses, I believe, is the other one. So... Um, <clears throat> There's no pigs on this farm, which is fine. I don't need pigs right now. I can always... I might even take, like, the horse pen and knock it out and then put pigs in if I really want to do pigs. I don't know. We'll see how that works. And... Crap. Now I need the... You know what I should have done? I should have just grabbed the Kramer and done it with that. Um... You know what? Maybe that's... Maybe I'll just do that. What are you doing? Um, yeah, screw it. We'll just... we we'll use the Kramer a little more. Why not, right? Oh, and I got another mod for the uh, engine... Uh, engine usage or engine load usage it sits right above the uh, hours now I can't for life me remember did I put them I did I put them over here that's another thing I might do down the road is or, or maybe if I make more I'll uh, I'll actually place the uh, <clears throat> Jesus can't get the camera right I might place the uh, The hay bales closer to the actual sheep. <clears throat> I had initially put them here because the other cow pen is right there. So I'm thinking, okay, well, if I need to mix some, I can just put them here. But yeah, you can only buy 60 at a time. But I mean, the base game ones are a lot smaller than this. Like he's got, this is a 500 sheep count sheep pen. Whereas the in-game ones, I think the biggest one is like, what, 76 or something like that? It's not nowhere near as big. Am I putting... I hope I'm putting this in the right spot. Watch it be like, you can't put bales in here! Oh, there we go. And let's take a look at our animals. Uh, health, reproduction, grass, food. Why is it saying just grass? It's technically hay. Okay, whatever. Weird. Uh, cow barn, cow barn, chicken coop. Oh yeah, and I got chicken coop. Uh, there's a chicken coop too on the on the map. No, he said Max Pen, that's high security guys, very dangerous ass to the wall style, so I hear. 
<laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. <clears throat> Try a little in cab. Let's see how this thing looks in cab. I don't think I've ever played this, the Kramer inside. Whoa. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. The brakes are horrible. And I don't know if that's the mod all the way across or just the electric version, but the brakes do leave something to be desired, that's for sure. Alright, let's do. Oh man, this is actually, this one's actually really nice inside because you can, you can actually really like get a good view of everything. I like that. That's nice. That's cool. Ah, oh, quad steer. You can't beat it, man. Just gonna make a farm. I'm gonna call it Quad Steer Farms, and then I'm gonna make another farm. I'm gonna call it Open Cab Farms. It's all gonna be open cab tractors. God, I told you the brakes on this thing are rough, though. It's the only thing I don't like. I don't know if they're gonna like update it or what. I don't even remember where I got this. If this is Mod Hub or not, I think it is. All right, so. 9,000 liters, so yeah, we're going to need, that's like an eighth, so probably most of the stack. Uh, I cut the lines. <laughs> All right. We'll do a few more bales. I, I mean, they don't need to be full right this minute. Start hitting the brakes long before I get there. I think maybe we'll just put these last three top bales. I wonder if I can grab two at a time. Can I do it without flipping this thing? 9,000 liters. Dude, look at... This is what I'm talking about. This is why this thing is fantastic. Two bales. 9,000 liters in bales. And, I mean, yes, it's tilting a little bit. And the boom is extended. Dude. Kramer is where it's at. It's like... It's... It's like a wheel loader telehandler's dream. It's like a wheel loader and a telehandler had a baby. And they named it Kramer. And it was a beautiful thing. Alright, brakes, brakes, yeah. Brakes, ugh. Alright. And we'll get, I think we'll get two more maybe. Ah, oh, look at me in there. See that? Look at that handsome fella sitting in there driving that Kramer. You know, he probably makes good money. Be able to afford shades like that. Yeah. It's a real go-getter, that guy here. Good mechanic would know how to fix those brakes. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> it's a shame I don't know any good mechanics. The van now offers an overnight stay with a free hospital checkup upon escaping. I mean, leaving. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know, Shaman, I'm a little disappointed. Why are you stealing my gig? I'm the one who who steals people. Why are you Why are you stepping on my turf? If you're gonna If you're gonna go into this line of work, you need to You need to pay me some dues. You know, it's like finder's fee for. I'm telling you guys, get yourself a Kramer. It'd be the best thing you ever did. Aside from escape shaming's van. <clears throat> All right. I really do like this thing. I 
I think that's the other hard part, and, and I'm sure we all have this issue. It's, you know, when you when you get it to a point, especially once they, once you know you're a couple years into the game, and they're like, oh, here's you know 500 mods, and you're like, well, what vehicle do I actually want to fucking use? That that becomes an issue, I think. All right, what are we at? All right, they got plenty for now. They'll be fine. At 10% productive. I feel like their production should go up, though. Like, everything should go up now that they've got enough food, so it should be good, I believe. You're the bush guy, everyone knows. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so I think we'll stick, we'll stick the Kramer over here for now. Because... Why not? <clears throat> and uh yeah i think the only other thing i think i've got pallet forks somewhere too i'm pretty sure i've got pallet forks <clears throat> front loader tools no i only have a bale spike okay good to know in case i need to pick up pallets ah i love my beer look at that it's a good tractor good tractor all right um let's see what should we do now? I mean, I could go... <clears throat> Part of me's like, I kind of want to buy some cows. But where I just blew through most of my uh, hay. I've got, what, three bales of hay left, and these aren't even cooked yet. What are they at? 36%. Oh my god. So much longer. Oh, I know why. Because I'm still crawling at a time. Um... You go for a warm, restricted space. <laughs> Do you have to sign a waiver, or... How does that work? <clears throat> Alright, I think... Oh, dude, I like this extended... Uh, look at this. Animals, health, food, milk, straw, slurry. It tells you everything in the little... I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna go try that on the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. There we go instantaneous okay so yeah animals 30 health 10 percent food total that's really cool i like that 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 it tells you now the only weird thing about this okay this is kind of odd and i don't know if this is like a glitch thing oh okay reproduction health count age Okay, now here's the only weird thing, right? It tells you the animals. It tells you the health, the food. All that stuff doesn't give you anything to do with sh the wool, right? But if I go to the cow barn... And it could be an issue with the mod. It could be something else. But if I come to the this one, it tells me the amount of milk and straw and slurry. It doesn't say anything about manure either. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> Let's see where are we at. Um, better than a cold crawl space. Hey, don't be like that, CBW. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey, hey, Cavalier Roy, what's going on? Morning or evening for you? Morning for me. It's evening for it's nighttime for me actually. It is nine o'clock my time, p.m. So 1990. <laughs> so much does Vin sleep over. <laughs> Uh, hey, Farm Sims, how you doing, buddy? Shame of main games. Sleepover is free, Steve, but dates may vary. <laughs> uh, what's up, Sims? All right. Well, I think I'm trying to figure out what... what uh, I know I'm going to need more hay. And I don't believe any of my other fields are ready yet. No, they're getting there. Um, my soybeans are all almost ready. And my corn's almost ready. Now I could... I do have a bunker silo. That would actually probably be good for... I gotta check that. Bunker silo would definitely be good for silage, obviously. Yeah, I might actually do that. I think... 
let's see what I can get for um, Forge Harvester. Thanks, they're all way up there. 358's the cheapest. The regular Jaguar. God, those are big wheels. Hmm, might go with the BKTs. Because I don't need the most powerful thing, and the pipe doesn't need to be huge. Uh, I might want GPS, though. All right, so 376, what is it at least? 19 grand. All right, we're going to do it. Because I've got two fields uh, of corn that I can actually um, pre-harvest. <clears throat> <laughs> 1 p.m. here down under. <laughs> Someone say corn. Oh, dude, CBW, we are getting the corn. You know how we do around here. <clears throat> 2 a.m. here. Jeez, Farming Steve. Thanks for hanging out. Definitely, man. <clears throat> um, Forge Harvester Headers. All right, let's get us something. Let's do the... 750 horsepower, holy shit. Nine meter, wow, okay. 650 horsepower, what? That doesn't even make sense. 375, 600. Oh, that's so not good. Did I just, yep, I did. Um, well, shit, son. I just leased, I did actually check what the 462 horsepower, oh, you know what, I'm going to do something, I'm wasting money now, whatever. Um, <clears throat> let's try this again, let me get one that actually has some nut to it. I want to do the katana, because I haven't used the katana, so yes, that 650 horsepower pipe, standard, wheels, We're going to do some fat BKTs. Now, granted, I know I literally just wasted a crap ton of money. <clears throat> but I don't care. Um, 21. It's actually almost the same price. And forage harvester header. So 650. So I can go... What is that? That's 750. So I can't go a 9 meter, but I can go a 7.5 meter. I don't really like the... I guess I'll go with a Kemper because I guess it really doesn't matter. I just really like the way this one looks. So we're going to use this one. Actually, what was the price? Same price. So, yeah, we're going to use a class on a Katana. <clears throat> <laughs> Steve, do you have any <laughs> Jesus, rubber allergies? Roy didn't win. Aww. 8 11 p.m. here. Yeah, right? Farming sims day. <laughs> Hello from the future where my guests are healthy and well ish. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's some scary shit. All right. And should be able to also lease a trailer that I can pull with this. Mm. <sighs> I'm so torn. That's 47,000. What is my owned? Trailer capacity, 23,000. <clears> See, <throat> so here's the problem. It's going to take 10 years to do it with that. So part of me wants to lease like this Kaweco, right? 47,000 liters. The only issue is I don't... <sighs> I'm not sure if my tractor can pull it. 
38.5. That's a little better. I love these. They're crampy. Oh, 45,000 for that? That's not bad. I don't know. I think I'll just go. We'll go see what happens. I'll use the little one I got for now. If I have to get a bigger one, I'll get a bigger one. Yeah, because these don't have uh, CVs on the back. Alright. Now, do I need to connect? No? No CV shafts to connect? Alright. Works for me. I need to buy me one of these. Soybeans for days. Got some grass fields that are coming in nicely. That one I haven't. That one was planted before I bought the the farms, so that'll be a nice one to uh, do up. You know, I really should. I'm just. You know what? I think I'm going to keep this thing leased because then I can lease a. Uh, an actual mower header too, and just put it right in the silage bin. Uh, was it down here? I don't even know where my fields are. Jesus. Uh, corn, 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 corn. Okay, so I got one down here, and I got this one. So I gotta get by this harvester, which I parked in a really inconvenient spot. Got good news for those of you who want to fully customize your yards. If you sell a barn, you can now cut a f plate and it will remove all walls and fences around that enclosure. Oh, cool. Dude, that's awesome. <clears throat> Is that, I'm assuming that's an update that's coming? If so, does that mean I'm screwed? <laughs> Unfold pipe. Unfold. Come on. Alright, why won't you let me unfold the harvester header? Yeah, I don't want that. I want the... That's the only thing I hate, is they have so many different input commands from the... Why won't you unfold the harvester header? Yeah, I'm aware. I'm trying to, but you won't let me. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Come on. That's why. Bastards. Yeah, I tried to connect the uh, PC, or I mean the, uh... yeah, all right, that's why. We're good now. <sighs> now I need to... <clears throat> 
Sounds a great idea. I'm off to bed. My medication kicking in. Good night. Good night, Pharmacy. Thanks for coming in. It's been good having you in here. Version 3, it won't be out for a little while, though I'll be submitting the map to mod up Friday, and then it's all down to how the testing goes. Awesome, dude. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are going to love this. Seriously, it's a, it's a great map. Um, Farming Sims, yeah, I figured it would make sense after all. It's annoying seeing a wall or a fence after selling a barn, and the only way to remove it is in the editor. Yeah. All right. You know, ah, oh, screw it. Let's see, what is the cheapest, biggest silage wagon I can get? Uh, I really like this, forty-seven thousand. How many Kuikos are there? This one's 38.5. This one's not that big. All right, yeah, I think I can run this one. I think, wait, which one has... Sorry, I know I'm tangenting. I'm trying to figure out <clears throat> but this, this one might work. I really like this. I just don't know if the little guy can pull it. He might not be able to. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> no worries, buddy. Thanks for dropping in. I, I totally appreciate you coming in and hanging out, especially, you know, I'm sure you're a busy dude. But uh, thanks for everything. And, you know, like I said, it, this is definitely my favorite map so far. So, um. Thanks again for all you know, all your hard work and everything, man, and and what you guys do, you modders. Um, so, I hope you have a great night, buddy. Exactly, exactly, farm sims. All right, how do I want? Do I want to try this? I feel like this would work. What is this? Eighty-one grand. Yeah, we're not buying that. Lease it for four grand. Yeah, we'll lease it. It's probably not a good idea because it's going to be too heavy for this little guy to pull, but we're going to try it. Let's see if this thing's got the... N oh my god, I, <laughs> I didn't realize how big this damn thing was. This is going to be rough. <clears throat> Dude, thanks. Thank you so much, Cavalier Roy. You take care of yourself, buddy, and uh, have a great night, and thanks for everything. Let's see if this, this medium-sized tractor, or small tractor, can handle this gigantic thing when it's filled with chaff. This should be interesting. Hell, it doesn't even like pulling it right now. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. Oh, all right. Say a prayer for this little rigid track. This is such a bad idea. I really should have gotten a smaller trailer. I really should have gotten a smaller trailer.
<laughs> Look at the. <laughs> it's just funny. It's a, you know what I should have done. I should have pulled it with a little electric. That would have been hilarious. All right, off we go. Now we're going to make this awkward S-curve. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh. All right, so I guess the ultimate question is, should I try? You know what, I'm going to because I don't feel like trying to drive this next to it. So we're going to try and hook this to the katana Ooh, as I drive up its ass. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this actually works. It may or may not. All right. Mm. Can she do it? Oh. Will it work? Ah, oh, it will. That's the one thing I'm so glad they fixed. Uh oh. Well, it may or may not work. Ah, oh, it will. Awesome. So even without the the hoses connected. I'm so I'm so happy that works. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it would. I was like, it's not gonna dump because it's not connecting the pieces, but it will. So hooray! All right, let's make some bad decisions. <sighs> Chaff and corn, so I can make some silage in my own bunker silo. I'm so glad that it. Ooh. No, 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 no. Am I not doing it right? Oh, no. Don't tell me it's not ready. It should be ready. Oh, what am I doing wrong? That's what I'm doing wrong. It wasn't lowered. Okay, that was my fault. Operator error, as they say. Alright, and we're going to turn on. And we're going to... Yep. Now, uh, forgive me in my wonkiness. I'm trying to. Okay. Eh. Okay. I believe. Now, if I set my. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. It's going to be a good day, Tater. We have got GPS working on my fancy leased katana with this big ass trailer. This was actually my favorite trailer in uh, 22. Uh, in 19, I mean. Ah, crap. Well, it's not a huge deal, but I do need to adjust that trailer height thing because that first wheel isn't even touching the ground but that's okay we will get this figured out we will I tell you what all right we're gonna turn you off and gotta watch out for this tree ah oh. Seriously, props to European farmers, dude. Sometimes it amazes me how you guys uh, do things. All right, we're going to do like this awkward like turn here, and hopefully this will work. You know what I should have done? I should have done the 90 degree turn thing, but I didn't. So we're just going to do like a, a weird little headland here, and hopefully it works out okay. But we're getting tons of chaff, and this is only one of the two cornfields that I have. So, I mean, while we're doing field work, we are going to have a lot of uh, field prep to do over the next three or four episodes, I would say, because I have 
Hold on, we're going to take one quick look. I own uh, 77, which is harvested, 78 and 80, 79. So there's four there, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I own 19 fields. Now, granted, a lot of these are small grass fields, so I don't really have to do much except, you know, fertilize. But uh, some of these bigger ones, they're going to be definitely going to need some work. So we're going to have to get some more equipment, which is another reason why I don't want to spend a ton of money, which is why I'm leasing stuff. Despite the fact that I have 210,000, I don't think I have a cedar planter or fertilizer spreader or anything like that. So it's all going to be... Uh, it's all going to be a work in progress, but we are making progress. And I appreciate you all coming and hanging out and doing the usual, you know, as we do. Shooting the shit and hanging out and giving each other shit and farming and you know how it goes. And for those of you waiting on sweet corn, don't worry, we are going to make some sweet corn. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if we could talk to like a mod maker and be like, "Hey, you should make a sweet corn factory." Just don't tell them why. <laughs> Seriously though, this this map is just fucking amazing. It really is. Ah, look at that. That's my gigantic field. It's already been done, but that's I don't know what I'm going to put back there, but I'm going to put something good. I think what I'll do too, I think, I, I love these particular fields because of how open, like, they are, you know, for, like, turning around and stuff. So I think that one next to me, that sugar beet field, I may end up buying that down the line just because, once it's harvested, just because I like the openness of the, like, the front of it. So for access, it's just really nice. So, all right. I gotta turn around. And I'm so glad this field is already harvested because <laughs> I don't have to try and turn around. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Um, well, okay. I have to. We are going to actually hold off for a moment because this thing is just about full. So. We're going to see if our little tractor can can actually uh, uh, transfer it, or to, you know, transport it. It might not. This this may be a rough, uh, a rough one. What are you laughing at, CBW? You're just excited about some sweet corn. <laughs> uh, let me see something. Aha, okay, cool. All right, my... Uh, my thing is now, oop, my phone is now charged so I can actually, uh, come on. All right, there we go. We are good, we are good. All right, let's see if our poor little rigid track has the nut to actually haul this full of chaff. If it does, then this is like the best little tractor there is. No joke. It's a beast. Holy shit. Do you guys see this? It was it's 94%, so it's almost 45 it's 42444, so it's almost 45,000 liters of chaff. And this thing's like not even straining. It's only using 50% load. It's only got a 50% load on the engine. That's insane. I mean, granted, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to take it like 60 miles an hour down the highway, but in our little yard, as it were. But yeah, this is the field. The other field I was talking about. Like, I love the how this line here. You can just get right into the field. 
I might take out those trees that take up the corner. I'm not sure. I kind of like the look, but at the same point, if they get in the way too much, we might have to move them. Come on, come on. There we go. All right. Making progress, making progress. I'll tell you what though, I am so glad I was originally gonna start off I was gonna I was gonna use the Valtra and like pick another tractor that I normally would pick. I I was not going to pick the Ridge Track by any stretch of the imagination for some re weird reason. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this thing because it's quad steer and it probably come in handy. And I did, and I'm so glad I did because this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's surprised me at every turn between the the handling of it and what it can lift and what it can pull and do i mean this this thing is just awesome i love how deep this bunker silo is too by the way like um there's so many times that they're very low so i i really like how and is it this one is that one not gonna do it uh, this one will do it. There we go. See, now I really should buy that printeth. <laughs> Maybe I should. Because I can sell silage. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to impulse buy for no reason, but I'm going to impulse buy and I'm going to buy this damn thing. Bam. There. There. I have the printeth. I don't need it, but I wanted it. So, impulse buy. Yeah! And now I'm $100,000 less rich. But look at this thing! Oh my god! This thing's gonna be great. It'll be good for snow, too. So we're just gonna leave this in the, in the poo silo for now. Yeah. <laughs> complete <laughs> probably not a great idea but i did it anyway so all right let's go get another load of corn for those of us that enjoy our corn and if you enjoy corn you know You know, it's it's nice too because there. I mean, there's some tightness in this map, but it's there. Like even that, like there's just enough room to even get like equipment like this out. You know, this gigantic trailer. You know, he's he did a really good job of like laying everything out. That one, it's believable. Two, it's still, you know, you got your hedges, you got your tight areas and stuff, but it's still usable. Even as tight as it seems in the yard, you can still get stuff around. So it's it's a good it's a good damn good map <clears throat> all right let's hope I should my GPS should still should be set on this so I should be able to just kind of continue where I left off I believe actually I think I'm going to set this guy right here jump out move this guy over here all right all right dude I'm actually I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying myself <laughs> a5 is now uploading awesome dude fingers got in the way of the video during a record <laughs> dude if you're playing on a on a uh, god I can't think straight if you were playing on, why are you not doing what I think you should be doing? Um, if you're playing on a PC, dude, you should you should record on um, on OBS through your PC. If like 
So you don't have to record on a phone if that's what you're doing. Just throwing it out there. Might make life a little easier. Alright. We are going to try. Let us... Oh, GPS, you're my only friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. This is fantastic. I love the stubble, too. The stubble's so cool looking. And even the corn, like, when you really get get in there with that corn, that actually looks so good, being sucked in there and, like, processed. Yeah. Oh. Dun, 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 Um. Yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> So the cool part, once we get, uh, once we get, there we go, um, I feel like I'm going to have to do one more, uh, hold on. let me see if I can adjust this. Maybe I can't. Just trying to figure out how to adjust the uh, the height on the tree. I can't. What is that? Overload camera? Oh my god! Do you see that? That is the overload camera. That is super cool. Um, so yeah, I can't seem to, probably because the hydraulics aren't hooked up, so I can't actually lower and raise the portion of it like I should be able to. So that rear tire is going to be sticking up for now, which is fine. It's not a huge, huge deal. I am going to take a look at this, though. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> uh. Now that should be better. With uh, a couple headlands, I should be able to. Oh, I gotta go this way. And what I'll do is I'll cut in, and I'll just I'll g I'll turn the GPS on so it at least lines me up to a particular track of sorts. Now, granted, it's going to leave a little bit, but I can fix that later. So, we're good there. Getting that corn going. <clears throat> More water. Got to stay hydrated. Yeah, hold on while I check something. I will let the GPS and everything do its thing. Um,
her. And we will turn around and continue. Oop, hit the wrong button. Kick on that while I set myself up something. There we go. Alright. Sorry, I had to adjust my phone, it was being stupid. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Where am I at? It's 9.44. I've been going since 7 ish, a little past 7, so I think once it hits around 10 o'clock, I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. We'll see how far into this field I get. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish it, but we'll see. Oh god. And I'm not even paying attention because I also forgot I don't have any silage additive in this. Does anyone, anyone in chat, do you guys know um, silage additive? Is it really... Is it worth it? Like, is it actually useful to the point of, like, you should be using it? I'd like to know if somebody knows. I did my phone just act weird as well. Ah, okay. That's another thing I want to change because that bugs me. I don't want automatic start. Um, and just start engine on throttle. No. Show warning. No. Go start engine. Uh, t -t 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 discharge. Okay. I think you do have to use the silage thing. Well, I mean, I'm making it. I'm making silage, so I know I don't have to use it. It's like a benefit. It's like if you use the additive, it makes... Um, I think it increases the the amount of silage it makes you know what i mean i don't think it's super i don't i mean it's not necessary i know that i just don't remember how much of a bonus it gives you that's that's the problem i can't for the life of me remember oh yeah look at that full and it just pulls it like nothing i need to buy me this trailer I really do like this trailer. Look at that, 45,000 liters. Excuse me. I think the height thing's good on this tractor because the front wheels are spinning. Of course, granted the, you know, it's got a lot of weight in there now. I should see if I can. Ah, oh, see that does that. Okay. Can't for the life of me figure out. Um, I 
guess you can't. You, at least on the other one, I know you can. Control T. Color white, change position below the freeway. I was just looking at that, the HUD configuration thing. Now I was trying to figure out the tilt, like the, uh, the, the tilt of the trailer hitch, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I can't for the life of me remember either, but no, I was trying to, just trying to chain, like tilt this thing so it, uh, but it doesn't want to tilt. I don't know if this mod doesn't tilt or I'm not sure. That's the only other downside, especially on PC when you get so many mods. It's like trying to get, like see that moves. The actual, the rest of it doesn't move. But yeah, I know there's there's a bonus. It gives you more silage out of it or more chaff or something, which is weird because I, I, and granted, I'm not a farmer, so I do not know, but I didn't, I don't even know if that's like a real thing or something. I mean, it's got to be a real thing. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't have put it in the game, but it's just kind of, I was not aware of this until recently. <clears throat> Not doing bad so far. I got 87,000 liters in there. Hopefully I make enough money from, you know, this stuff and everything else that I can start getting more equipment. I, I wouldn't mind having this trailer, that's for sure. I mean, it's leased right now, but it's like 90 grand, so... But... Considering this thing can pull it full, definitely be worth it. But <clears throat> I'm thinking I could do it one of two ways too. I could technically just take the grass and fill this thing, get a mower header for that. Uh, what do you call it for the uh, forage harvester? And I could just shoot it into here and call it a day instead of mowing. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love mowing and you know, baling and stuff like that, but. Just to simplify life a little bit, I could do it that way too. Dude, you missed it. That was my second one. I just took the thing completely full and it pulls, it only, um, I got a mod. If you look down, it's really hard to see, but if you look down at the, uh, the hours, right? Right above it, there's a little percentage thing. And when you accelerate, it tells you how much of a load's on the motor. I was pulling this thing with like a 50% engine load with it full. That's crazy. <clears throat> so, I actually really kind of want this trailer. <laughs> but I don't have the money, right? I, I do have the money, but it would take the rest of my money. Because I don't know if you were here when I did it. But I actually just... Um, <sighs> I bought that Printeth. I don't know if it was a good idea, but I did. <clears throat> yeah, I bought it. I figured for silaging, for crushing, for 
all that stuff, then I'm not trying to use dinky little tractors that aren't going to do that much. So I bought this, and I figure, hell, why not, you know? So we'll see how this works. Cost me 101,000, but it was half off used. So hopefully, it's it was worth the money. Can't wait till the horde night. Got two days to go. Yeah, dude. You know, it'll be cool to see how it all turns out. Like I said, I'll have to check it out myself. <laughs> so how you doing, farm sims? How's life in uh, in the outback? You know, one of the you you had mentioned it, I think, in my last stream about how you liked, uh, you know, um, Butterfield. God, I can't think of his first name. It's uh, uh, it's gonna drive me nuts. I can't think of his first name. But uh, everyone should have one half price is good. Too good to miss. Out. That's what I'm saying. It was a hundred grand. I mean, it's the thing is invaluable if you're doing a lot of silage, especially if I start using the bunker silos that are down at the uh, the uh, the biogas plants right here. It's like literally down the road from like most of my fields. So if I start using the biogas plant, that thing would be Isaac. There we go, Isaac Butterfield. One of the funniest things it was uh, he was reacting to like people reacting to like um, Australian stuff and I loved one of his rants he goes on this rant about he's like and don't you come down to our country and ask us if we've got shrimp on the barbie <laughs> and I was like that's fantastic I mean I wouldn't do that anyway but that's just great <laughs> oh All right, let's get our GPS going, and we'll get our... There we go. We're back at it. <laughs> I can only imagine, dude. I, I really can. I mean, <laughs> like I said, <laughs> it's nothing I would ever say. <laughs> you know, it's a shame. It, it's actually, um, back in the day, uh, when I was in... God, I want to say high school. They they had the they used to do like if you were part of a I think if you got good grades and stuff you could actually opt to to go to travel and they had this thing that you could could go to through the school that was like like oh you know you can go on a trip to Europe or something that was like granted you had to pay. It wasn't cheap, but, like, the school would take you um, and all that stuff. And they actually had one that was... I mean, it wasn't it, it wasn't full price, you know what I mean? It was discounted, but uh, they had a trip to Australia. And I forget what it was. It was, like, $800 or $1,000. And you could go for the week with with a class of students and they had like you know a bunch of volunteer teachers and volunteer people that would you know watch over you and stuff but you could actually go to another country and check you know explore it and, and stuff like that it was really really cool and uh, I really wanted to go to Australia but you know my family didn't have the money so I wasn't able to go but it was one of those things Australia is probably one of the few places that I've always been inter interested by Aside from Italy and uh, Alaska, which is the U.S., but it's like the tippy top above Canada. But um, I had always wanted to go to Australia, so. Alright, let's not hit the tractor. Don't hit the tractor. Ah, uh, I hit the tractor. Uh, I'm still hitting the tractor. I'm moving the tractor. Alright, get out of my way, tractor. Alright, 
sounds excellent. Especially for students. My wife went away for the weekend, so I had to run the farm solo. Mixed in a boys' drink, smoke a poker night. Nice. That's awesome, dude. That had. I bet that was a blast. Yeah, it's always nice to to uh, do stuff like that. Get that kind of you know downtime and all that stuff and do what you do. It's always good. <sighs> well, we're getting through it. Still got a good chunk. This should do pretty good because I'm I'm getting forty five thousand liters a trailer. And I'm probably actually going to have to pull this one back before I get through the entirety because I think I'm going to be full before I even get to the other side. But um, it's good because that means that if I'm getting 45,000 per strip and a half or per two strips, then uh, that should go really well because I've got... 90,000 I think in the bunker silo already so if I get another three to four trailer loads from this field alone that's I mean that's another 180,000 liters maybe t uh, maybe 220,000 230,000 somewhere around there and then uh, and then on top of that um, um, and then on top of that I have a whole other field to do which is similarly sized so with that being the case I should be able to I probably will get at least 500 to 750,000 liters of silage which will be great for you know, not only selling, but also for cows. It's been ages since we all got together since 2019. Ah, oh, geez. Yeah, I can imagine, man. The whole pandemic shit and whatnot. It's definitely put a hamper in people being social and being people. And they wonder why everyone's losing their minds. We're social creatures, you know? All right, let's go take a quick run over to our Where did I put my I'll tell you what, man, though. I I've said it a million times this stream and I'm going to keep saying it. I absolutely love this fucking tractor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At least, I would say, guesstimately. I mean, from, I've got, I'm trying to think. I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six strips and two on the end. And I've got, I'll have about probably 120, 130,000 liters. So with double that left... I'll have, you know, 300, maybe, thousand from this field, maybe a little more. And then on top of that, I've got another field of the same size. So hopefully it'll, it'll all work out and be worth it. All right. <laughs> but yeah, look at this thing. It's just, look, 60, I mean, granted, I'm going downhill. Fair enough. But... 80, okay, 94% engine load going kind of uphill, but it's still pulling it, no problem. It's not like, oh my god, I can't make it, you know? It's it's just like, yeah, pulling it a little slow, but it's pulling it. This thing's a beast. I really need to move that fucking harvester <laughs> right in the road.
don't. Oh, not my soybeans. It's my money maker. I've got to shake it. Nice tractor. Details. What do you mean, details on the tractor? It's the, uh, if you're asking about the tractor, it's the rigid track. It's the, uh, show you real quick. Ah, look at that. And my Valtra. And it's the modded one. Uh, I might need to buy that too. <laughs> I might need to buy that and sell something. Like maybe I'll sell the beer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, real quick. These. You get the rigid track electric, right? And then they came out with the two modded ones. It's from the Alpine DLC in the last game. They've got the uh, 75 and the 150. The 75 has 116 horsepower. And then the one, this is the one I'm running. Selectable color, front loader, front three point, rear three point. Um, bunch of wheel options, quad steer. It's fantastic. So... And it's not that expensive, really, in the grand scheme of tractors. So. I don't know. I don't know if I should buy that. I really want that Valtra now, because I love that thing. But at the same point, I've already used it on the other game I was playing, or the other Let's or the other live stream series I, I had started the hard mode one it's just it's such a good tractor it's and the uh the one that the modded one it comes with 225 horsepower and uh same thing front loader and it goes 36 miles an hour instead of 26 so that's kind of nice It does, doesn't it? Yeah, like I said, or maybe that's what you were asking and I was too stupid to notice. Because um, you got your in-game one, right? Like I said, it's got all the options. But it's 24 miles an hour and it's 190 horsepower. I got a modded version off of a third-party website. It's the same thing. It's just 225 horsepower and 31 miles an hour. So it's a bit faster and a bit more powerful without being you know, completely off the charts, unrealistic. <sighs> There's so many good tractors. Oh, I, I got this too. This is that JCB pack from the uh, other one <laughs> from 19. You can get the ridiculously wide tires. And with the, the hitch ball and everything, it's awesome. And, and then there's the one with the crane built on, if you go into forestry. But yeah, oh, I got this too. Challenger MT500. It's another one I had in uh, 19, but this one's got a front loader option, whereas it didn't used to. So, it's good stuff. But yeah, the uh, sales, it's like, do, do I want it? I mean, I kind of want it, but I don't really need it. But at the same point, for 40 grand, it's really worth it. And, but that's a good chunk of my money, <laughs> so I don't really think I should, even though it's, I would say, aside from this and maybe a, another couple of tractors, it's my favorite tractor so far. So, I don't know. For now, I'm going to use this because this thing is more handy at the moment. But I'm thinking my thought process is like 225. That'll be good if I for like plowing and stuff. Because this thing at 150, I mean, you know, I'm gonna have to plow up those cornfields. It's gonna be stupid for like I'm gonna only be able to run like a two and a half meter plow with this thing. 
bought that JCB yesterday, 75% off, so it costs like 60k. Exactly. Dude. So that's kind of the thing. It's like, I mean, realistically speaking, for the amount of stuff I've got going on, I should totally buy that. And maybe I will. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to buy it before I change my mind. Valtra. Black. Front loader. Actually, I'm going to go Hauer because I have a Hauer front loader. And we're going to go Nokian because I really, really like these tires. And we're going to go... And we're going to have GPS on it. Oh, why didn't it save my front and back? There we go. I totally didn't need it, but I bought it anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so bad. But like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm concerned now, but I'm not horribly concerned because between the silage bales I've got, the straw bales I've got, all this corn like I said I've got this, I've got another field and then I have these three, I've got this 92 and 83, these are all soybeans that are not harvested yet so I've got three soybean fields and granted I don't know what soybeans are going for right now wow that's not much at all holy shit Not like it was in 19, huh? Sunflowers are worth more than soybeans. That's crazy. Oh, I think I'm on hard, too. Now I gotta find out. Um, yep, yeah, economic difficulty hard, oh, which is fine. That's good. But either way, I've got three fields of soybeans on top of the silage, on top of the check the graph oh yeah that's one thing i wish they would add like i like the fact that there's a graph it's nice but i wish they would give you what the actual price is on the graph you know what i mean like be like oh okay you know like this line is what it is right now at you know whatever the price is you know 646 that's what this is but they don't actually tell you that because this is, what the hell is the time? It's September, right? So September is right here. Okay, yeah, so that if that's 600, that's gotta be like, mm, something, I don't know. That's my point, I wish they would, uh, yeah, yeah, what month would be July? Top of July would be best to sell soybeans. It just, it bugs me that it's like, they don't give you what this value is. That's one thing I really wish they would do. Is give you the actual monetary value on the side. Like, because they did that in 19. But, whatever. Either way. Still good. So now I got a tractor and a printer. <laughs> I could always sell the printer if I had to. At least that'd be worth some money. Uh, all right. Like I said, I might end up selling. I mean, I really love the Bure, the open cab tractor, and the fact that it has a front loader is awesome but the few times i've tried the front loader it tends to tip regardless even with a weight on the back so maybe it's not the best i i don't know or maybe i'll just have four tractors screw it and i'll just have to make my money do some contracts
All right. Sucks you don't have the scale on the axis for money. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I Like I said, I've used it before on, on my other series. Um, but with the front loader, I mean, granted, this, this thing, that thing over there is great with a front loader. The only, the advantage to that one versus like the Valtra is that one being quad steer is great at like if you're doing bales like i was doing earlier stacking bales it's like you can turn the wheels all the way one way and you can like really fine tune like stacking and stuff it works really well um but whatever it's it's a big farm i'm gonna need stuff but like I said, the main thing with me too is that Valtra being 225 horsepower, it means I can actually run a smaller um, a smaller uh, plow. Yeah, is that right, sweetheart? Oh no, it's time. All right. Well, I think with my stolen dog. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to call it quits 30 seconds behind. Oh, no worries, buddy. Uh, the money comment was the graph that has no money on it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it. I, I, I don't know if maybe I'm screwed up or or what Go for it. yes I hear you sweetheart I'm coming alright but yeah so I think what I'm going to do uh, farm sims I think I'm going to call it quits for this stream um, just because I've been going for I think three hours now yeah, I've been going almost three hours, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits and we'll pick it up next time. Like I said, I am gonna try and do a, another stream sometime midweek just to keep it going because uh, I'm definitely enjoying this map and I'm enjoying this series and I'm enjoying all the stuff I've got going on. So um, I may do a little off camera here and there, but for the most part, there's gonna be so much to do that you know it's not like people are gonna miss out. Um, and before I forget, I am going to save this just so I don't screw myself over. All right. But, uh, like I said, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for hanging out as long as you did. And, and, uh, you know, I appreciate you and everybody else who came into the stream and I hope everyone had a good time and the usual, but, uh, I'll see everyone on the flip side. Take care, farm sims.